Anyone who sat through an episode of HBO's Girls probably thinks that qualifies as an unexplained broadcast, as it's rather mysterious how Lena Dunham keeps getting so much work on TV, despite being as entertaining as watching a kitten getting slowly stung to death by scorpions. But no, our list concerns strange signals from beyond the stars, potential recordings which could rewrite history, and a strange recording which may prove our ability to hear the dead. Let's take a listen to some of these spooky signals, shall we? In our list of seven mysterious broadcasts and transmissions. In at number seven, the death of the first. Yuri Gagarin is officially credited as being the first man in space after his successful return trip on the 12th of April, 1961. But for years, many have speculated that the Soviets actually managed to sling humans off our planet years before him. The only problem being, they couldn't get them back alive. If you've been a fan of our channel for a while, you may have seen our piece on space conspiracies where we covered the story of Vladimir Komarov, a doomed Soviet cosmonaut who, in 1967, cursed his superiors over radio for sending him to die as he hurtled towards the Earth to meet his maker. We know about these transmissions as Komarov's communications were picked up by American listening posts in Turkey, but in the 1950s and early 1960s, similar communications were intercepted from other areas of the world. Communications from cosmonauts. Cosmonauts who were in space and who were in trouble. One transmission from 1961 was thought to have come from a female cosmonaut. And the transcript makes for horrific reading. And other recordings from November 1960 and February 1961 depict what seemed to be an SOS signal and the sound of someone suffocating. So was the first human in space actually... A dead woman. And was she hot? From her final transcript, it seems she was literally smoking hot. Maybe one day we'll find out for sure. Number 6. Sounds from Saturn All planets within the solar system and beyond emit a constant stream of radio waves. But as the Cassini spacecraft detected in 2002, None are quite as creepy and weird as those coming from the planet Saturn. The tones seem to rise and fall rhythmically, as if it were a cheesy atmosphere track from a carnival spook house. But towards the end, things get really dark and growly. Scientists still don't know exactly why Saturn's sounds are so different to those of every other planet. But based on this short recording, I'm not so sure I want to know. Although I am now curious as to what Uranus sounds like. 5. The Old Tape This recording first surfaced on 4chan, and the user who uploaded it claimed it was taken back in 1995 while he was listening to WKCR 89.9 New York. The music begins normally before it starts to distort into a shrill, ear-piercing screech. And songs continue to play in the background as breathy tones take over the station. Eventually, a female voice reads out names and dates in a satanic chant-like fashion, and this continues for several minutes until the recording cuts out. We still have no idea whether this was actually another 4chan hoax like Miley Cyrus's death or Pepe the Frog's racist adventures, or if it was genuinely broadcast by WKCR 89.9 back in 1995. Either way, if you heard your voice on there, I bet you're crapping your pants right now. In at 4, The Lincolnshire Poacher the Lincolnshire Poacher is a traditional English folk song about how much fun you can have shooting bunny rabbits. But this jaunty little tune took on a new meaning in the mid-1970s, as several bars from the song were used as an integral signal for a mysterious transmission which ran for over 30 years. This broadcast included a synthesized female voice reading out groups of five numbers, and it is thought this system was used by MI6, 
or the British Royal Air Force to communicate with its secret agents abroad. This seems to have been proven when amateur sleuths pegged the signal as coming from an RAF base in Cyprus, and many of these so-called number stations still exist today, with confirmed signals detected in Australia, Spain, the Czech Republic, and beyond. In fact, there's a whole YouTube archive just dedicated to them. So, if these transmissions really are coming from MI6, and they're using them to communicate with their agents, that means those James Bond movies have got it all wrong. There's no hot lady receptionist giving you orders. It's just a radio transmitter. And nobody wants to watch Daniel Craig bang that. Actually, I bet someone probably does. This is the internet, after all. In at number three, electronic voice phenomena. Electronic voice phenomenon refers to the discovery of strange, unfamiliar noises which suddenly appear when a recorded piece of audio is played back. Lady Gaga's producers have this trouble all the time, until they realize it's just her messed up rat voice spreading plague through the airwaves. But regular EVP noise can come in the form of growling, screaming, footsteps, and door slams even though nobody present reported such an incident occurring during the recording. Now, of course, some microphones are super sensitive. So much so that if I want to hear the couple next door getting freaky, all I gotta do is place my voiceover guy recording mic to the wall and shazam. Well, I don't actually shazam it, because if I did all I'd get back is results from Nicki Minaj tracks. But anyway, the creepiest incident of electronic voice phenomena occurred way back in 1957, when film producer Friedrich Jurgensen, who was attempting to record bird sounds, somehow picked up the voice of his dead parents and his dead wife calling his name and giving him instructions. So can the dead communicate with the living through audio equipment? I hope not. I don't want my mom to tell me how disappointed she is and how my life turned out. She did that enough when she was alive, and she died when I was three. At 2. The Ganymede Signal In recent years, it has been reported that in the 1980s, NASA and SETI astronomers covered up the fact that they came across a strange signal emanating from one of Jupiter's moons. What's intriguing is that the moon that the signal is supposed to have come from, Ganymede, is one of the only places in our solar system where liquid water is thought to be present. So, could alien life really exist in our own backyard? And are these folks trying to talk to us? Probably not, but we still don't understand exactly where the signal came from. It was determined to be artificial in nature, and there are conflicting reports as to whether we've actually managed to decode it yet. But one story claims that although we've never unraveled the first signal, we did send a message back of our own, one which stated, We have received your signal, but we do not understand it. We then received a response to this which we could understand, which quite bluntly said, we were not talking to you. Oh great! So if this is true, Earth's first contact with an alien civilization was the equivalent of waving back to someone, waving at someone else? How awkward! We're gonna get ragged on so hard at the space prom. And at number one, UVB-76 Since 1976, radio listeners around the world have reported hearing a strange buzzing sound on the frequency 4625 kilohertz. Short, repetitive tones are played 25 times a minute throughout the day. And occasionally, a Russian voice interrupts to list names and numbers, including the station's name which used to be UVB-76, but is now the much catchier MDZ-HB. In recent years, the station's activity has varied wildly, possibly due to the number of explorers who have attempted to locate its source. One group did successfully triangulate the station's transmitter, but when they arrived, it seemed the building had been hastily abandoned, with the signal moving elsewhere, a strange man-shaped hole in the wall and the only item left being a sign that read, Gone Fishing. Then, the station dropped silent on June 5th, 2010, and after picking back up, it has been increasing its number of messages ever since. On October 17th, 2016, an unprecedented 18 messages were played in 24 hours. So whatever this transmission is doing, 
It seems something big might be about to happen very soon. So that's our list. And if you want to take a more in-depth look into the space conspiracy we mentioned earlier, plus a whole bunch of other mysterious interplanetary shenanigans, then why not go back and watch our video on the top 7 space conspiracies.